Hello guys, my name is Jesse, and today we have special guests. Oh, Kazuo, Ray, and today we'll be talking about our experience being half black and half Japanese. So, let's get to the video. So I was born and raised in Japan, and my dad is Nigerian and my mom is Japanese. I went to the States when I was 12, so I grew up half of my time here in Japan and half my time there in the US. Uh, same as Jesse, my mom is Japanese, my dad is Nigerian, and I moved to States when I was 18 for college. My father is uh, African-American and my mom's Japanese. I was born in the States, but I moved to Japan at a young age, and I kind of been like half of my life in the States and half of my life in Japan as well, just moving back and forth, and yeah. So let's talk about our experience as a child being half black and half Japanese. Uh, bro, I remember like uh -huh. anytime there was like a popular American or whatever film, uh -huh. if there was a black character, oh I God. was called, I was like that character or like yeah. a black gay or Movie Even Obama. Obama. Oh, oh yeah, oh, Obama. Obama. Fucking, oh. fucking yes, we can. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, we can. Yeah, change oh. we need to go. Oh, <laughs> Well, um, who else? And like they all think that we like we like hamburgers, pizza, yeah, you know, all the stereotypical oh, oh, stuff. Yeah. Dude, like I would only bring tsuno bento, uh -huh. but like other teachers would be like, "Nani mo dekita hot dog yeah. <laughs> Really? <laughs> like like no, tsuno nori ben. Even <laughs> teacher. Yeah, teacher. So personally, I didn't really experience a lot of racism or discrimination because I went to an international school. Uh, when I was like going from home to like school, I got like stared at by like other kids because. My skin was darker than them, and I felt uncomfortable because being stared at as a kid. Is well, well, you're lucky. lucky. Okay, I'm lucky. You're I'm lucky. lucky. Okay, okay. Because I went to a regular Japanese public school. Okay. And they beat you. <laughs> and you gotta beat their <laughs> too. I got my <laughs> beat, and uh -huh. then I beat some of, some of their. <laughs> uh -huh. Sometimes I got jumped. Uh -huh. So and I can't I can't do like no kung fu movie where I beat five people at once. So uh -huh. I have to take them on one by one, like separately, uh -huh. like. If I see this dude walking down the roka by himself, boom, get him there, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, and of, I did get stared at on the train. You did? Okay. Yeah, but that was like the calmest thing, though. Okay. That okay. was like I preferred that over yeah, just yeah. Just, so like they'll tease you and like they'll say like worse, you know, worse to you, right? Yeah, like unkoido. Unkoido. Yeah. yeah unkoido. Wait, what does unkoido mean? Like. Color. How's your experience? Like when I was first grade, you know, I got picked on, right? Because yeah. I'm black. And there's like six Filipinas in my class out of 20 people, right? My skin is lighter uh -huh. and Filipinas darker, but still like I got picked on and they call me black instead of, you know, my name, uh -huh. you know? Oh really? They'll just call you black? Like black. Yeah. And it's not your name. Hey. So I'll, I'll be like, okay, so my name is Ray. Yeah. And then they still will be like, okay, black. They're not gonna stop that, shit, you know. Uh -huh. So I have to, I have to like do something with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I know that explain to them, mm -hmm. it's not gonna solve any problem. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Cause I already tried. It, right, right. Yeah. Right. For me, easiest way, only way is uh -huh. just. Yeah. So did you guys like going to a school as a kid? Uh, not really. Not really. Well, it depends. I went to a kind of like an international school, but yeah. not really. From like kindergarten to. Third grade and from fourth grade to like Koko Omade, I was in a regular Japanese school. So yeah. like from fourth grade to then, I hated it. You hated it. I hated it every oh. like second of it. Right, yeah. right, right. And I feel like once you get into like high school, like middle school, high school, like people view you differently. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Because you know? I was like into you know rap music, just yeah. American like black American culture since I was a baby basically. And then being kind of picked on for that, you know, I used to wear Air Force Ones to school, yeah. would wear Jordans to school. Uh -huh. And then, you know, people were like, yo, why are you wearing those type of shoes? You're supposed yeah. to wear these types, you know, get your shoes from Tokyo Hanzo or whatever. Right, right. And then from high school, seeing everybody want to dress like that, right. you know, wear Timberlands, all that listening it, to you know the American, rap music. yeah rap music and yeah, stuff yeah yeah and then like kids in high school kids started wanting to like be cool with me because yeah. I was black and because I I fit the stereotype of like yeah. knowing hip hop and everything it's just like where were you in middle school right right yeah. you were not like this uh -huh. yeah like I can say the same thing like they used to think that like black culture is like worst even my hair uh -huh. like they don't they don't like that at all like but okay. now they trying to like make you look like that right. or having a dreads or dress like us you know? right, right, right. Were you guys scared of Japanese people having dreads? oh I thought oh. that shit, bro f that shit, bro I will pull them 
<laughs> I'm gonna say uh, depends on the person. Okay. I don't know, man. It's if, kind if of you, like... if you half black, then you you valid. You yeah. you're, you're okay. You connected with your black side. But if you're just like a full on Asian boy, you you never grew up around a black person. Uh -huh. Even if you did grow up around black people, like don't do that, bro. Yeah, your hair not... don't do that. I'm right, a little right. bit different though. Like yeah. I have a different opinion about it. Like as long as you're supportive towards okay. us, okay, okay, I'm I'm cool with that. Okay. But like you can't be like faking that. Like right. just listen to black music and have just to drink that. Cool. Yeah, like yeah. It, it's not gonna change anything. Like just be supportive. Like support of uh, black owned business or say Black Lives Matter on social media. The culture. But like it's a small thing, you know, like you just gotta do a lot. Like Ray said, don't yeah. just to look cool or to yeah. look, you know, badass or whatever, because right. you know, that's the negative image of black people. Like it's just we only do it because we're we're bad people or just uh -huh. we're trying to you know, be thugs or gangsters or whatever, and that, that ain't the case. Right. And I just said that uh, they want to be like us. They want to be like us, but they don't want our problem. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So, like, right. they need to, like, speak up about it. Till this day, we don't have same treatments, right? Right, right. Everybody want to be black, but nobody want to be black. Right, that's right. Like, that's, like, the popular They're scene. just, like, the cool um, side. Like, yeah. you know, whether it be fashion, whether it be music, food. But, like, when we're actually facing the problem, like, the discrimination and racism, then they don't want to be part of it. Yeah, you know? exactly. They only want the, the, the best parts of the Right, black, or the best part. Yeah. But, but we got to go through the worst shit for the best parts. Right. And a lot of times, like, we're looked down for doing a certain thing, but uh -huh. isn't, it isn't until, like, an Asian boy does it or a white boy does it is when it becomes cool. Right, right, right. Yeah. Did people in public act strangely because of your appearance? I think now it's a lot of it is because of just how I do look, but not uh -huh. just because I'm black. I, I have tattoos, right. you know, I have one on my face, and right. I'm taller than most of the people in my neighborhood. So I think it's like that. Any experience of you like facing like weird interactions with Japanese people? Uh, yeah, I, I had old people like when I was like 10 years old, uh -huh. like try to push me. Uh, oh, like, like kind of shoulder press me. I'm like, bro, why are you acting tough <laughs> towards a child, bro? I'm a fifth grader. What are you doing, bro? Uh, and just uh, like yeah. kids, like from other schools, because I don't look familiar to them. Right. So they're just gonna, they're just like acting tough with me. I'm like, bro, right. come on, come on, bro. There was like one interaction. Like, okay. dude was like, there was a group of kids right across the street. Yeah. We're in middle school. The f dunch or whatever. <laughs> the, 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 the leader. He's like yeah. looking at me. He's like, <laughs> or some. Whatever the f***ing Yankee Chu do. Yeah, and yeah. then I'm just like, come on. What? Yeah, I'm just yeah. like, come on. And just like, I'm like, bro, I am outnumbered. It's yeah. me versus like four of your friends, bro. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. on. I, I also had a similar experience where like old lady. So this old lady, right? Five, six years ago, this old lady came up to me. And like all of a sudden, she started touching my hair and like saying, oh, this is really cool. You know, same, same, it happens, same. right? Like people touching your hair yeah. thinking that it's, without you know, permission. Yeah, without permission. Uh, like in, in the States, it's like a lot of like white women do that. Uh, and like shokumishitsumo. Did you guys like get a lot of shokumishitsumo because we're black or? Of course. Yeah, I've probably gotten like a twice, shokumishitsumo twice. This year, oh not this year, last year. But I think that's normal though. I don't know, shokumishitsumo, I don't know how often people. Groovy, how many shokumishitsumo are you? <laughs> oh yeah, for me, when I go to like gyudon yasan, specifically like ski up, so I went there and I asked for uh, some gyudon and they brought me the gyudon and fork and not chopsticks, you know? Because usually like you're supposed to get chopsticks too, but yeah, they probably made an assumption that I can't use chopsticks, yeah. so. When you get into the train, nobody gonna sit next to you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. To, to this day, bro. To this day. Okay. Okay. To this day. <laughs> I'm 6'1", so I'm kind of tall, right? Right, right. Uh -huh. So I'm kind of like, okay, I have like extra seat so i'm cool yeah. with that but like mm. in my head i was like okay this kind of racist isn't it it's okay if like no one's sitting next to you for like a few stations but like seven stations eight stations right. no one's sitting right next to you yeah then like <laughs> yeah you know what's up you know yeah, my mom was would notice that too you know right. mom, mom being japanese she's like that's probably the best part of your racism uh, is I, that you get space to sit. yeah <laughs> that is right. true that, that is, is true right. like i'm not complaining you know yeah. i'm not complaining but it, that happens all right so have you guys ever considered yourself looking more japanese i did i did i straight my hair though i, I have beautiful curly hair right uh -huh. but i used to have the straight hair because because uh -huh. you know like i have curly hair and then, right you know people always like stare at me and at that point i was like i don't want everybody to stare at me like, i want to be like them you know i want right. to be like typical like japanese person right. so you don't 
don't get made fun of, right? Yeah. And like, well, for me, like, sometimes my dad will make, like, African food for lunch, or well, bento, right? Yeah. But I didn't want to bring the African food to uh -huh. school because I'll get picked on. So, like, I'll just, like, bring Japanese food. And then they be like, what? Why are you eating fufu? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, like, if you're, if you're Nigerian or African, you understand. <laughs> so, was there anything only you could do because you guys were mixed? Say <laughs> You're not wrong. I was waiting yeah. for that. Alright, alright, yeah. I'm so we done. get the N word pass. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, has been dark skin helped you anyway in Japan? Yeah. I feel like when I was younger, I definitely looked more like black, but as uh -huh. I got older, like. Even somebody thought I was like Brazilian. Brazilian? Yeah. I get that too. I don't know. Some people said that I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Rican. Definitely Rican. back in New York. Because my, my neighborhood was Puerto Rican. Oh, so that's, that didn't help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so do you consider yourself a foreigner or Japanese when you're in Japan? Neither. Uh, neither. I don't feel like I'm belong here, but like, okay, okay. I'm not an outsider, you know? Like, yeah. I know the culture is, but right. I don't really feel like I'm the part of it. Like, yeah. Well, I know Japanese though. Right. I can speak, but yeah. Plus, you're born and raised here, but yeah. you still feel like an outsider. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But mentally, definitely, I don't feel like I belong here because they, people don't treat me like I do belong here. Right. Even right. I have a Japanese passport and everything to show that I am Japanese. But right. yeah, it's definitely different when you look like me or any of us. Yeah, any of us. Yeah, same. I felt the same way. Yeah. Like even like going through the airport. Even though I have a Japanese passport, like they'll think that I'm a foreigner, so they'll try to guide me towards the you know foreigner section. Yeah, yeah. same, same. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like the fact that you show the Japanese show, passport. Yeah. 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 they still like okay. Right. It says Nihon, right? Yeah, Nihon. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> or even like going to the restaurant, like sometimes the employee, they will like speak to me in English even though I'm speaking to them in Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and they'll be struggling too. Yeah. I remember I was like in some store in Harajuku. Uh -huh. I was like, I was asking something in Japanese and there was like, at the, at the, uh, um, at the, so uh, over here. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so do you guys consider Japan your home? Japan is, whether I like it or not, home. Right. It's just, they're just treated differently, but it doesn't change the fact that this is where I grew up and where I spend a lot of like, I have a lot of memories here. Right. So, yeah, that's not going to change. Right. Do you consider it Japan? Wherever, home? wherever uh -huh. my girlfriend be, that's my home. That's real. That's real. That's real. That's real, that's real love. That's, that's real. Real, real love. Shout out to your uh, race girlfriend. <laughs> real love. <laughs>